In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for practice exam number two for math 1030, for which we have four people, Angie, Bev, Ceci, and Dina, uh, who are dividing assets among themselves. And there are four shares, S1, S2, S3, S4. This table shows how these four individuals value the different assets. So Angie thinks that share one is 22% of the total. Uh, she thinks that share two is 26% of the value of the total. Share three is 28% and share four is 24%. Notice as there are four players here and four shares, a fair share is one that is valued at 25% or higher. Okay, in which case what we're asked to do is given this value system. So if we can see all of the values of the four different players, what is a fair division of the assets? So we want to come up with a fair division here. Uh, we want to give everyone a fair share. So when you're looking at Angie here, um, Angie only values share two and share three high enough. Bev, which would value share one, share two and share four. Um, Sessie here, she values share two, share three, and Dina, it looks like, values all of them. So maybe Dina was a um, divider in this type of allocation here. So we got to come up with a fair share, fair division. Turns out there might be more than one. All right. So what we're going to look and see which of the following is a fair, div fair uh, division of the assets. So for the first one, um, they want to give Angie share one. Nope, Angie doesn't think that's a fair share, so that's not the possibility there. Um, look at the second possibility, B. Um, they want to give Angie share four. Again, Angie doesn't value on that high enough, okay? What about choice C here? For C, they're going to give player A, S3, that seems to be okay. Player B would get S4, that seems okay. Player C would get S2, that's okay. And player D would get S1, that is a fair division. So it looks like C is the correct answer. But for the sake of completeness, let's go through the other two answers, or the other three answers and see why they don't work. Um, with the division, with the allocation D here, um, you give A share two, which is okay. You give B, player B share one, that's okay. You're gonna give player C share four. Nope, she doesn't like that one. Um, with choice E, you give you give Angie share one. Nope, that doesn't work for her. And then for the last possibility, player A gets share three. That's okay. Um, player B gets share one. That's okay. Um, then the next one here, player C gets share four. Nope, doesn't like that one. Um, and therefore, we see that choice C is the only fair division of the assets based upon the four players value system.